Hello everyone, this is Adel from OZ Engineering and in this video we are going to explore this PCB in Enclosure demo available in the EMC Plus examples. So here we will explore the EMC Plus workflow for defining and analyzing a near field source imported from SI Wave within a representative enclosure. As usual, we will start our workflow by defining the simulation domain. So let's click on the domain button. Expand time lattice, minimum, maximum, and divisions. I'll set the lowest frequency to 10 MHz and the highest frequency to 20 GHz. For minimum X, minus 15 mm. For minimum Y, minus 22.5 mm. And for minimum Z, minus 12 mm. For maximum X, 250.5 mm. Maximum Y, 84 mm. And Z, 450 mm. And here I'll set the divisions to X2, Y2, and Z2, which gives us a total of 8 cores. And let's click complete. Now we are going to define the near field source. So under excitation, let's click on near field source. This opens a window where we can select our near field source file that we previously exported from SI Wave. Let's change this to .and, select our file, and click open. Now we have our source. Let's rotate it. 90 degrees along the x-axis. Now expand bounds, minimum and maximum. We'll change minimum x to 15 millimeters. Minimum y, 13.5 millimeters. And minimum z, 73.5 millimeters. Let's also change the step value to 8.36 E minus 12. And click complete. Now let's define our materials. Click on materials and select isotropic. Now we can click here and select new. Double click on isotropic one to select it. Now here we can rename it, uh, we'll use Aluminum, Expand General, here we can change the color, let's uh, pick this blue, and uh, change the electric conductivity to 1.2 E7. Using the Select Surface tool, let's go to the Structure tree and select Del Optiplex to assign it to the case. Then let's expand this and also CPU and let's select all unhidden geometries. And click uh, complete. Now let's create some probes. Uh, we'll start by creating some electric field probes that will capture the fields inside and outside the enclosure. Let's click on field, box region. Let's call this one inside field probe. Expand bounds, minimum and maximum. We set minimum X to 172.5 millimeters, minimum Y 34.5, and minimum Z 120, maximum X 174, maximum Y 36, and maximum Z 124.5 millimeters. And let's click complete. Now here in the simulation tree, 
if I click on inside field probe, we can see the orange dots that make up the probe. Now we will create a similar probe. Let's call it outside field probe. And we are going to change the bounds. We'll set minimum X to 172.5, minimum Y 34.5, and minimum Z 276, maximum X 174, maximum Y 37.5 and maximum Z 280.5. Now let's click complete. And if I click on outside field probe, we can see it here outside of the computer case. Also, we can create some animation probes using the YZ and uh, XZ planes. So let's click on animation and select the XZ plane. We can rename it Exit Plane. Here we select Normal Electric Field. And let's change the step to match our source at 8.36 E minus 12. And click Complete. And now let's do the same for the YZ Plane. Now we can mesh and run the simulation, which can take a few minutes. Once the simulation has successfully ended, we can plot the results of our probes. So let's go here under results, right click on inside field probe and select compute field averages. We'll keep all analysis directions and click OK. Now under 2D plots, let's right click here and click show. And here we have our results. We can always edit the settings by right clicking, configure, chart. Now let's take a look at one of our animation probes. Let's go here and right click on YZ plane, generate animation. We'll click here to load in our results. Now let's modify the legend to make it easier to view the results. I'll change the axis minimum to E minus 4 and maximum to 0.5. So here, as you can see, we have our source. And if I click play, uh, you can see that we have uh, some leakage. And uh, we can export this animation uh, as a still frame or as a GIF. So in this video, we saw the workflow to analyze the radiated electric fields produced by an important near field source in EMC+. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.